My name is Tim Morton and I'm the big local rep uh, for St Matthews. I'm Barbara, Barbara Grant Bennett and I'm the Community Development Officer for St Matthews Big Local. Uh, my name is Mukhtar Alarishi, I'm a St Matthews uh, resident and also I am the Vice Chair of the Big Local. Hi, my name is Saima Shah. I'm the Administrator at St Matthews Big Local. I'm a resident at St Matthews as well. Um, I also run crochet workshops for uh, the big local and uh, the residence um, grant scheme. The future of the state is to be more greener and more cleaner and everyone is, is respected and valued and uh, people celebrating diversity and backgrounds uh, with each other and looking after the, each other. I was with a, a gentleman recently and he was asking me about where I worked and all of that. And he was sort of, he really laid it in. You mean you work in that community? And how do you manage walking around? It's all negative. And I said to him, sir, until you've been there and you've met the people and you know what's happening, it's unfair for you to make that comment. It is a lovely area. It's not bad. He said, really? I came, I came visit in this place about 10 years ago. And to be honest, it's changed a lot. I don't know about the reputation, people from outside, if that opinion has changed or not. It's a different story. Yeah. But it's a one place that I can I can really say our mothers, our sisters feel safe. St. Matthew is a lovely place. Everybody can come and stay and it's a good place to live. We have big community here, we come together multiculturally and we like to come together and talk to each other and we like it, we respect each other. Other people think it's a, um, it's dangerous and not a good reputation but personally I think it's a peaceful place, everyone's like one family, everyone's connected and it's just a beautiful nice place. When, I, uh, when I'm walking in St. Matthews I live more safer than when I'm local, walking in the city centre or other places. And here I know everyone. I'm a PCSO on the estate, my name's Karen Reed. I've been working in this community um, for a good year now, although I have been on the beat for nearly four years. I feel very safe in the area. I'm the only female um, police presence on the estate permanently, and I can be out and about at night, 10 o'clock at night by myself, and I feel perfectly fine. Um, and I don't know why that is, I just feel that the community are very family orientated and um, you know they, they've made me so welcome that I feel that if I was in trouble there'll be, always be someone there to help. My name is Chris Hassel, I'm a head teacher at Taylor Road School and I've worked, been head teacher here for 22 years. I started in uh, 1997 and um, it was a failing school at the time. The school had a very poor reputation, it had failed its Ofsted inspection and parents were leaving in droves. Um, we're now an outstanding school. Uh, we're something called a National Leadership and National Sports School. Uh, that means we help other schools and teachers from other schools and workers from other schools come here to see good practice. Uh, our results are some of the best in the city, not just for one year, but year on year on year. Our children are highly successful. When I turned up here six years ago, I um, was the bloke everybody wanted to meet because I got a million pounds in my pocket and uh, I didn't but that's how it was, um, people assumed that I had. So I had lots of meetings with lots of different people. There's a plan running at the moment, um, the highlight of which is the multi-use games area, the Mugger, Croyth Court opening this summer. The court comes out of um, a chap taking me to one side when I first got here uh, and saying we need something for the youth and we need a multi-use games area. A place for people to get fit, uh, stay fit, play, relax uh, and reduce the sound of footballs in the courtyards. It's also um, in a big contribution from San Mateo's Big Local to make it more safer in the, living in the community through providing different schemes, the women getting engaged um, and they come into the big local sessions and um, join, so it's lovely.
I'm very interested in, in to see my community more green, uh, play, uh, green place and uh, uh, clean place as well. So more likely I'm focusing this in this particular and uh, uh, I like the environment here where my children, my family, myself uh, would like to be uh, more green and more uh, clean. I actually think it's about the people. The local people will be able to identify need, prioritise and take action to address that. The community is getting stronger uh, and um, people are knowing people across communities as well.